have that going on. That looks like fall, but the weather certainly feels like it, Josh. And that it does. Today we got a little bit of the sunshine, mm. the cooler temperatures. Now we're in for a big dip in the mercury. So uh, buckle up as we prepare for a roller coaster ride. And one of those roller coaster rides does include a lot of astronomical events happening above our heads, just like tonight. Seeing the return of the Aurora Borealis. So this great shot coming in from Lisa in southwest Washington. Now a lot of the photos that we're starting to see trickle into our area really started to kick off around 830 or so. And I've been keeping a very close eye on our cameras across southwest Washington and not seeing any northern lights right now. But maybe you were lucky enough to be able to capture a photo or a video. You can scan the QR code on your screen right now. That will direct you to coin.com so we can create a great gallery that I anticipate will be a showstopper. As we take a live look at the northern skies, that's where you want to look out towards to see the potential northern lights for the rest of this evening. Of course, the city lights kind of help reduce that in the moon tonight, not helping either as we approach full moon status 64 degrees though that's where we currently sit with winds out the northwest at about six miles per hour you can see that the northern lights diving their way further to the south this blue line right here that's our viewing line so anything north of that has the potential to see it along the horizon of course this comes as clouds start to march their way back on shore there you go one shot out towards the ridgefield area no northern lights right now as we anticipate the cloud coverage to start to increase for the rest of this evening but i mentioned kind of difficult to see those northern lights because of the full moon tonight. It's also known as the harvest supermoon. So harvest moon because it's the closest full moon to the autumn equinox, but then it's also a supermoon because its orbit is ever so slightly closer to Earth and it appears just a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter. On top of that, because why not throw another thing into the mix, we could potentially see a partial lunar eclipse come tomorrow evening right around 744 or so. Now only about 8% of the moon will be covered and we will likely see most of it covered by the cloud coverage that will once again return. Satellite and radar showing all is calm, quiet and clear right now, but there you go. The prefrontal clouds slowly starting to march their way on shore, and that's all part of our latest cold front, the culprit for dropping our temperatures nearly 10 degrees and bringing back the chance of rain, but it is short-lived as this pocket of cool air sits over the western half of the country. A ridge eventually works its way back in, and that will dry us back out and warm us back up into the mid to upper 70s for the rest of this week. Let's time everything out with the future cast. There you go. Then increasing clouds tonight. We got to pack our patience and wait for the actual raindrops to start to fall, though that will get underway along the coast for the start of the day tomorrow. It's not until about three, four o'clock in the afternoon that we start to see the rain come down over the Willamette Valley, and that does include the Portland Vancouver metro area, but it's in and out of here quite quickly. And by Wednesday morning, seeing those drying skies and the clouds starting to break up, only filling up the rain gauges to a couple of one hundredths of an inch. I think some of us will be lucky enough to get closer to a tenth of an inch. But for your morning commute tomorrow, just cloudy, dry. That won't be the case when you come home from work or school. As we fall tonight to about 54 degrees and tomorrow's daytime high, try 65. We were able to climb up to 78 earlier today, so that is over a 10 degree temperature drop. We return the sunshine for the end of the week and put ourselves back into the low 70s and a great weekend starting to take shape for us, Elizabeth. A really kind of a picture perfect Goldilocks zone for September. I love that. And tomorrow's just like a little peak of that sweater weather that some of us like, right? That it is. Okay. It's, it's already here. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Timbers legend making news, Adam. 